the impression was I felt a lot of freedom to be able to explore and, and experiment with something completely new. When I received the invitation, I found it interesting, the artists that they had been working with, how they were challenged to do something that was outside their normal medium. Some of them had not worked with glass before, some of them had. And so I thought that the opportunity for me would be interesting to do something that's different than my usual work. So more conceptual and also be able to kind of bring in the language of some aspects of what I think about normally in painting into a kind of conceptual sculpture. I'm doing several works here in Murano. One of the projects is a sort of transferring from a project that I've done before called Segmented Reality. So it's part of this series of sculptural paintings that I do that are self-standing walls. And here is very special because I was able to make molds and then the glass itself I'm mixing out of very thin, very granulated glass. And I'm building the layers inside of a mold that will later be baked in the ovens. So that's very experimental for me. And I also like that it's a tr translation of works of mine that are a part of an ongoing conversation. Because ever since I was very young, I was fascinated with looking at walls as a sort of stage, kind of a theater of life where people leave their marks behind. Whether it's somebody writing something or scratching or putting a poster and tearing it, advertising something or making a political statement or even a message of love. Walls have always been something that going back into human history have been a dialogue where people, humans, leave a mark behind that's very significant. So to experiment in this new way, in this medium, I think is going to be really good. I think it's going to add a different dimension. And the dimensionality of glass specifically deals with light, I think, which is very interesting because color changes. There's translucency that's real. The second project that I'm involved with is called La Valla, which means the fence. And uh, I'm using uh, a kind of method where you see in New York City and other cities, you start to see that in fences, people are weaving drawings, words, messages into the loops of the chain links. So sometimes it's done with fabric or tape or ribbons, things like that. So I thought it would be really interesting, again, to sort of tap into the surface which is related to walls and related to this kind of urban messages that you see around cities, but this time make the ribbons made out of glass. So at first look, you might be familiar that it might be fabric or a ribbon, but when you get closer, it's actually the glass that's woven into this fence. And the fence is, you know, obviously very representative of this kind of borders that uh, is a major topic of Today, more than ever, I feel with immigration, with refugee situation, with war. In the United States, it's like nonstop. They talk about a wall, you know, and uh, many people are risking their lives to go to another place where they feel it's a better life. And uh, that's part of my story, too. My family left Cuba uh, a long time ago, and they came to the United States, and they felt that that would be a better future for family. So the question is, is it a better life? What's beyond that side once you cross the fence and how fragile is life at that point.